you're in the mood for comfort food and craft beer, you may want to head to Sherman Avenue. Beer Rock is serving the Madison community, and today we're joined by owner Brian Caribou. A mouthful, but we're so glad to have you. Thank you for having me. So Beer Rock looks so interesting. I headed to the website today. I've got to get there. But first, let's start with the maybe obvious question. What is a beer rock? <laughs> beer Rock is essentially a meat pie, similar to a pasty. A lot of people know what a pasty yes. is. Um, in, in layman's terms, a upscale hot pocket. It's a Volga <laughs> German recipe. Uh -huh. um, uh, the classic in our be uh, family recipe and bestseller is uh, stuffed with beef, sauerkraut, and onion all inside a freshly baked dough. So if you can imagine that, uh, that's what a beer rock is. And, uh, we're, we're having a lot of fun making them so far. Yeah, and they look delicious too. Upscale Hot Pocket, that's a description I haven't heard yet. <laughs> it does help paint the picture of what we're talking about. Now you also have a fabulous selection of drinks at, the, at your location. Let's talk a little bit about, well specifically beer. What's on the drink menu? Yeah, so we have 24 tap lines of craft beer. Wow. Even though the name of the restaurant is Beer Rock, coincidentally it has nothing to do with beer. It's about the food, but we still do have a lot of craft beer. We have a curated menu. Uh, we kind of divide our menu up into three categories. Beers from locally from Madison, beers from uh, outside Madison but still in the state of Wisconsin, and then uh, a third section that's kind of just outside the border, beyond the border, uh, whether it's uh, a different state or even internationally. We always have a German beer on tap typically, uh, being German influence. So uh, a lot of great craft beer, also liquor and wine for those who are looking for that and some non-alcoholic selections as well. Lots of choices for folks. Boy, a lot on tap. And mm -hmm. you know, this is a great market for craft beer lovers. So it sounds great. Let's talk a little bit about happy hour specials. You know, here in Wisconsin, we're always looking for the good deals on happy hour. <laughs> so from 3 to 6 p.m. on weekdays is our typical happy hour. Customers can get a dollar off any drink, uh, whether beer, wine, liquor. Uh, but then we have an extra special happy hour on Tuesday and Wednesdays where it just doesn't extend to drinks, it extends to food also. You can get half off our appetizers uh, from 3 to 6 Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So earlier in the week, uh, if you want to come, customers can get a great deal then. And you have some great uh, notes on your website too, so if you don't remember all that, you can head to the website and see what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis, including some great events. Let's talk about some of the special events you have coming up. Yeah, uh, coming up we have, uh, during the month of March, is St. Patrick's Day. We'll have a couple Irish-themed beers on tap. Uh, I know we have one from Lift Bridge in Minnesota that is an Irish coffee stout. We'll have uh, Irish Red Ale from Vintage right here in Madison, so kind of some Irish inspired beers along with Jameson Liquor for uh, St. Patrick's Day. And then also in March we have a pre-party before the J-Rad concert that's uh, playing at the Sylvie downtown. Oh, nice. um, so we're uh, featuring beers from Terrapin Brewery, uh, a Grateful Dead inspired brewery uh, before a Grateful Dead inspired concert downtown. So. Uh, come on out on March 13th uh, for the pre-party on that date. You're really good at pairing an event with a craft beer, I've <laughs> noticed. This is a talent of yours. Um, you also have some monthly reoccurring events. Tell us about those. Yeah, um, the first Wednesday of every month we host trivia. It's a theme trivia. Uh, in the past we've hosted events uh, that have been uh, The Simpsons or Star Wars or Game of Thrones or things like that. Um, coming up this upcoming March will be beer trivia and in April we have Buffy the Vampire trivia. So those kind of happen uh, first Wednesday of every month and the third Thursday of every month is our North Side Night. Uh, we're located on the north side of Madison. Uh, north Siders can get a 15% discount from 6 to 8 p.m. on those dates. Uh, so those are a couple of our more popular recurring events every month. Wow, lots of fun things to do. In fact, I remember last time we spoke, we talked about The Simpsons. We did. Yes, keyed me right back <laughs> in. So Beer Rock, of course, again, is a food. Um, are there more than one types of Beer Rock, or is there just one signature Beer Rock? 
Uh, we have a signature biroc, which we call the classic. That's the beef sauerkraut and onion, the family recipe. Then we have other different interpretations, we'll say, uh, that is still same thing, everything stuffed inside a freshly baked dough, but different fillings like buffalo chicken. Uh, for vegetarians, we have a tofu kimchi. Uh, we have a Southwestern, which is kind of like taco flavored. So yeah, different interpretations like that. Can't wait to get over there and try one. Brian, thanks so much for sharing a little bit about this with us today. You bet, thanks it for having me. Pleasure having you. You're watching Talk Wisconsin and we've got more coming up for you after the break.